Okay, so this is where we left off in the last tutorial with this bunch of code, which so far did this. If we go to the website, we can see the content, but when you click the 1, 2, or 3 to go to a different stage, it doesn't do anything. What we actually wanted to do is, if we go to the other one and we click 2 or 3, you can see that it animates and shows the correct content. So in today's lesson, we're going to be working with jQuery and working with the main functionality of this series and showing the right content and supplying animation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to allow a function to run every time you click the 1, 2, or 3 step. So what we're going to do is within this link, we're just going to put an onClick attribute, which within the double quotation marks of this, we're just going to select a function name. For this function name, we're just going to call it select step with a capital S. Open and close brackets and close it off with a semicolon. Within these brackets, you can now send a piece of information off to the function. This could be a string or an integer. So I'm just going to use an integer, and I'm going to send the integer of 1 as this is step 1. Then, after the semicolon, I'm just going to type in return false, and this is going to stop the link from submitting and refreshing the page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this onClick function for the current links below, changing the integer which I collected from 1 to 2 and 1 to 3, so it goes along with the correct step. Okay, so now we're back into jQuery and we can actually write out the function and select the function name which we gave it, so select step. Now within the double, double brackets even here, what we can basically do is we can create a variable and give it a name which will hold the integer which we sent to that function. So we could either call this something like number, but just to keep it small, I'm just going to call it n. Now this n is equal to the step, so step 1, step 2. So what we can do is we can do if n is equal to 1, meaning if step 1 is clicked, then we can do anything inside these curly braces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the jQuery, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the progress selected class, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do dot animate, and I can animate the margin left of this to whatever I want. So we open and close brackets, close off with semicolon. Within this we put two um, curly braces and then we just put margin left with a capital L, nothing in between them, just like so. Then we put a colon and we do what we want to set it to. So default is two pixels, which is step one. And then you do a comma and how long you want the animation to go on for. So I'm going to choose 300 milliseconds. Now what we can do is we can do else if conditions, basically saying exactly the same thing. So for this one we're doing if n equals 2, meaning if step 2 is clicked. Now you can see how simple that is to understand. So basically if step 2 is clicked, then we're going to do exactly the same code, but instead of margin left 2 pixels, what we're going to do is we're going to animate the margin left, and if we look in the CSS, you can see that we need the margin left to be 132 pixels. So we're going to animate that to be 132 pixels. Then once again, we're going to do else if, and then we're going to do n equals 3, so that if the step, if the third step is clicked, then we can do is the um, exactly the same code once again, but instead of margin left 132 pixels, if we look in the CSS what it needs to be, you'll see that it needs to be 262 pixels. So let's just copy that straight out of there and put that in place of the 132 pixels and click save. Now let's go online onto Google Chrome and let's refresh this and see what it does now. So you can see now that if we click number 2 or number 3 it actually slides accordingly but it doesn't show the correct content so that's what we're going to be working on now. So below this, what we want to do is we want to do dollar symbol open bracket double quotation mark dot content switcher, which is what we called each and every content um, div, and we're going to do dot hide. So we're going to what what that's going to do is basically if we go back to Google Chrome and refresh, what that does is every time you click one, two, or three, it's going to hide all of the content. So let's test that out. So one, two, three, and it hides all of the content. So now if we go back to Dreamweaver, what we're going to do is we're going to do dollar symbol, um, open bracket, open double quotation mark, then we're going to use the ID symbol, content, and then we're going to use the plus symbol to concatenate N, which is equal to the step number, and close the curly brace, and we're going to do dot show. 
as you remember we had content 1, content 2, content 3 IDs on each div. So now this is going to show the correct content div after we've hidden them all. So now if we do step 2, you can see it says second content, third content, and so on and so on. So now we know that this application is working correctly. Okay, so now that tutorial is all out of the way and done, and hopefully you've got a nice animated web application. What I want you to do is go over to my friend's channel, his name is Blue Butter, and I'll leave a link in the description. Basically, he's a gaming channel and he supplies great content and also he's giving away a free iPad too. So if you go over there and subscribe, I'm sure you'll help him out loads. As I said, he's a friend of mine, so it'll also help me out. Uh, you can see that I'm one of his featured channels also. So go over there, and once again, I'll leave the link in the description, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Don't forget to give this video a thumb up, and subscribe to my channel to help support with more videos. So I'll see you next lesson, and goodbye.